In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to swap out assets from your Unity project to the Echo 3D Cloud 2022 SDK version update. We're excited to say that Echo 3D has made some major upgrades to the Unity SDK, and I wanna walk you through the process of installing it and getting it up and running. So we've received a lot of requests for specific features, and we definitely took those to heart. So we hope that what you requested is found in the new prefab. So first of all, you're going to download the SDK, ideally from the Echo 3D console. And once you install that, you're going to actually, I already have it here, so I'm just gonna unzip it. You're going to unzip the file, and then inside you'll see that there's another file. Instead of previously just dragging this into Unity directly, what we're actually going to do is copy this. We're gonna put it specifically in the packages folder, and we're just going to paste that folder right here. So we picked a pumpkin 3D asset to work with. We have this in the scene and we are going to take this 3D object and just simply upload it to the Echo 3D cloud. So that's where we're gonna start so that we can start to make the conversion from a regular Unity project to an Echo 3D backend managed Unity project. In the packages folder, you're going to see the Unity SDK. Go to the prefabs folder and get these two prefabs and drag them into your scene. At this point, you're welcome to delete your 3D asset out of your project because we have uploaded that to the Unity cloud. So next, what you're going to do is go to the Echo 3D hologram and you're gonna get your API key and your entry ID. So the places that you can find those two items are up here, this is your API key. And then if you click on this, you will see underneath there's this long entry ID. This is what you're going to enter. And go ahead and save. Don't forget to do that. Any unsaved projects changes will not apply to the Echo 3D SDK. Now that we've added that, I'm gonna go over here and click on Editor Preview, which is going to give us an actual preview of what the pumpkin is going to look like here in the scene. And I'm going to ignore the model transforms. So sometimes 3D models come with transforms or their locations baked into the model, and this can mess with your project, especially if you're not familiar with Blender or you don't know how to edit your 3D assets transforms. So this basically just gives it zero, zero, zero coordinates, essentially, which gives you total control so there's no offset. And it's really nice. I always like to personally start from scratch when I'm working with models, and this is a really nice way to bypass that. So we're just gonna go up here to where it says Echo 3D, and we're gonna load the editor holograms. So this is just going to take a second, and this is going to pull in the 3D asset from the Echo 3D cloud so that you're able to work on it in real time and that way when you hit play or you export your project or you build it, it's going to look exactly how it looks here in Unity with the preview. Let's review what just happened. So you'll see that under the Echo 3D hologram, there is a pumpkin head object. This is not from the hierarchy in the original scene. This has been pulled in from the Echo 3D console. So this is being hosted entirely on the cloud and brought in in real time for you to edit and make your projects as you need to. And the wonderful thing about that is that your projects can be a lot smaller. You can change out your assets remotely. Multiple people can have access to your projects through the Echo 3D cloud. It is a collaborative tool as well. And you're able to create anything that you want using any assets from our library of over 75,000. We hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.